The National Disaster Management Agency here in Pakistan has now, just in the last few minutes, released concrete figures. Uh, they've been working hard through the night to get those details. They say now 35 people dead, 150 people injured. They say between 150 and 200 homes in this remote area of Baluchistan, the west of Baluchistan, close to the Iranian border. Um, and they say the reason that there were so many houses destroyed, because in that area, a lot of the houses are very simple houses, uh, mud-built houses. The army also been working through the night in relief efforts. The army's got two helicopters in the area. They've moved additional troops there. They say they've brought in a doctor, paramedics. Uh, they bring flying in food aid and flying out casualties to get treatment in, uh, in hospitals in nearby cities. And also, we know that the local uh, authorities have trucked in about 20 trucks of food into the uh, disaster struck area because of its remoteness um, this is one of the reasons why it's been very difficult for officials here to get a clear and precise picture of how much damage and the extent of injuries uh, and the death toll rosemary and Nick, it certainly sounds like authorities have moved uh, swiftly in the aftermath of this quake what, what are the needs now and the challenges that uh, face the survivors well, this is a desert area. It still gets cold at night. Um, people's uh, food uh, and immediate uh, shelter will have been impacted. So providing shelter for the people um, left, in the, left in these areas and providing sources of uh, water if wells in their houses have been uh, filled by uh, falling, falling debris. These are going to be the main things, as well as providing the, the medical care um, that in, perhaps in a major city would be easy to provide. But out in the sort of west of Baluchistan, there aren't many mainstream medical facilities. Those that do exist are often a long drive, uh, a long drive away from some of the remote areas. So it's really getting those people who have been injured to the medical treatment, and that's why the army says they've brought in paramedics. Uh, there are several landing strips in that area close to the border, but it is um, a, a very long way, many, many hours drive from the uh, regional uh, capital of Quetta. So that's why the army's been using the helicopters, and the fact they've been working through the night, something they don't normally do, that's another indication of just how quickly they feel they need to get the relief supplies and the injured out of the area.